Hi, I'm Jay Silver, and I am a Maker Research Scientist at Intel, I'm finishing up my PhD at MIT Media Lab. So when I grew up, I didn't have typical geek interests, but I was kind of a, a geek about anything that I got interested in, not just about one thing. So, for example, I was kind of a surf geek, and I was kind of a music geek, and like, you know, some people have a story about how they took everything apart. Well, I mean, I kind of took things apart, but it, it was more like I would go out front in the front yard, and I think everyone does this, and I would find an ant hill, and I would redirect the ant line to another direction, or I'd put on the hose, and the water would flow down one way, but I'd make different channels for it. And, and really what that is, is, is it's hacking reality, hacking nature in the way that I think is very natural for humans. And, and I would set up dominoes um, the way that people sometimes talk about, you know, I'm geeky because I set up Legos or I programmed my computer or something like I would set up dominoes and, and make little paths and make like divergent paths and things that triggered several things and several things that triggered one thing, things that probabilistically triggered each other and I would set them up in a context of either outdoors or in my bedroom with all the existing things that I had. I'd grab a book and tape a string with the domino to the book and the domino would turn the page on the book so I was kind of inventing with this automata that was a domino and I think my point, I think if I have a point, is that I was a geek growing up but it didn't have to do with technology. It had to do with the fact that you can create things out of the world. The world is a construction kit and your world when you're little is your room and your front yard and as you grow up it is your office and your neighborhood and things like that and I think that there's a lot to be gained from not having your kit be inside the box the way Lego comes and everything's inside the box. I think the the real benefit is when you imagine something that you want to do with that Lego kit or you take things that aren't supposed to be part of the creation and stick them in. And, um, and the question for me as a designer of such kits like Lego kits, um, I'm, a, I'm a kit designer, how do you design kits that catalyze that exact behavior? Not taking what's in the box, but instead I've got this kit in my hand now, how do I take the world I live in and start smashing it together? If I can design a kit like that, then I've really achieved my goal. Can you explain a couple of your kits? Sure. Um, my first uh, widely distributed kit was the Draudio kit. The Draudio is a little circuit that lets you turn the whole world into a musical instrument. It has two alligator clips, and you clip it onto some things in the world. For example, you can clip it onto a pencil by thumbtacking it into the graphite, and then you can draw musical instruments on paper, which you can touch with your finger and actually play music from, just with a regular pencil. And it's not just pencils, it's kitchen sinks. You can play the water coming out of the faucet, or you can play a tree, or a cat, or a jacket, or anything like that using the circuit. And what you'll see about the circuit is the circuit doesn't care about itself. You take the circuit out, and you want to go hook it to the world you live in. So this circuit is like, a, is like a thing that's like kind of like a magnifying glass. You know, magnifying glass isn't interesting by itself. The world is interesting. So you get the magnifying glass out, and you explore the world. Well, with a magnifying glass, that's really cool. But do you create things with a magnifying glass? Not usually. So what would a magnifying glass look like if when you pulled it out, you started exploring and creating with the world you live in? Not with the kit that comes in the box, but with the whole world you live in. And my theory is that when you start doing this, it transforms the way you look at the world. You think, oh, the world's malleable. And it transforms the way you look at yourself. Oh, the world's malleable, and I'm capable of changing it. Not theoretically, but through experience that I have, I know I am, and that's called creative confidence. And if we have creative confidence, nothing can stop us.